Arc welding is a welding which require heat application for joining purpose and the temperature should be more than melting point. Arc welding uses electric arc to create heat to melt and join metal. There are various types of arc welding used by manufacturer for various applications and different types of manufacturing. Here in this video, we are going to discuss the most versatile and inexpensive type of welding. It is called SMAW or Shielded Metal Arc Welding. Hello everyone, welcome to Code Screen. In this video, we are going to discuss about most versatile and inexpensive type welding. It is known as Shielded Metal Arc Welding. 75% of total welding done in India is SMAW and 25% of total welding worldwide. It is known as manual arc type welding or flux shielded arc welding or consumable electrode type welding. Flux provides strength to weld joint that is why it is known as flux shielded arc welding. It is also known as consumable electrode welding because it use consumable electrode. Consumable electrode means the electrode that are consumed or melt during the joining process. Consumable electrode are made of different types of alloys like steel alloy, high carbon steel alloy and nickel steel alloy. It has the core of solid metallic wire. Diameter varies from 1.5 mm to 6.5 mm and length varies from 250 to 400 mm. It is coated with flux which provides stability and strength to weld joint and it is connected with the power source to perform the joining process. Shielded metal arc welding consists various equipments to perform welding and these equipments are power source, electrode lead, electrode holder, electrode, work lead and work table. So here the first equipments which we are going to discuss here that is the power source and this is the main equipment to perform welding process. Power source can be it can be transistor controlled or thyristor controlled for high quality welding. And these power sources have feedback control to deliver the preset amount of current and voltage to welding rod to provide required amount of arc for better quality weld. Now you can see other equipments also like electrode holder which is holding the electrode and electrode is the main part or main equipment of the welding process and this electrode holder is connected with a power source with the help of electrode lead and this electrode lead will help to supply the power from power source to electrode holder and electrode and the other part is work lead so work lead one end is connected with the power source and other end is connected with the clamp and clamp is in direct contact with the work piece Work lead is attached with the clamp which holds the material in place and act as a ground connection for the electrical current which is running through the metal. If we are not doing any grounding or if there is no grounding has been done in that case leakage will occur and that leakage current will conduct electricity in human body and earth and it can cause serious injury. It also ensure matter enclosure to welding machine and ground is at the same potential. It act as a ground connection for the electrical current which is running through the metal. So the work lead and the clamp is most important part of the welding because grounding is most important or very necessary part of the welding. In shielded metal arc welding, arc is formed between metallic electrode or we can say consumable type electrode and the base metal or the work piece and here heat is the main source or heat is mainly required to perform the welding process. This work piece should be connected with the clamp for the grounding purpose and it is in connection with the power source with the help of work lead and this electrode holder should be connected with the electrode to perform the welding task. A power source, this is the main power source which is required for flame or arc development. Here you can see electrode. So when electrode touch the workpiece, here this electrode will touch the workpiece. 
and it short circuit the power supply and heavy current will, will flow into it it melt the tip of the electrode when this electrode is in contact with the workpiece so during this power supply or because of the power supply the electrode will melt or the tip of the electrode will melt and it produce arc there is a gap should be maintained between the workpiece and the electrode and in that case the arc which is melting the workpiece electrode and the flux coating which is on the electrode this flux is mainly used for the slag formation which is providing the strength to the weld joint in this whole process large amount of heat and light will produce and the heat where we are considering temperature should be greater than the melting point or melting temperature so this heat will melt the flux covering or flux coating of the electrode the electrode should be flux coated and when the flux coating will melt it will produce different types of gases and slag the gases will protect arc to react with the atmosphere gases or atmospheric air and the slag which is produced it will cover the molten pool molten pool will be here so it will cover the molten pool until it solidify and the slag can be removed after welding but slag is required to protect the molten pool or to cover the molten pool from the atmospheric gases or the gases which is not required so this is the complete process of shielded metal arc welding why we call this as a shielded metal arc welding because it is shielded with the flux coating the electrode is shielded with the flux coating so the flux is providing strength to the weld joint and since it is a arc welding where we are considering large amount of heat is the main source of the joining so the power source mainly produce or the power source is mainly required uh, for the arc development and the electrode it will touch the workpiece and it short circuit the power supply and he heavy current will flow into it and it will melt the tip of the electrode and it will produce the arc and through this complete process the joining will happen here we can join two work pieces together with the help of melting of electrode and high temperature shielded metal arc welding is mainly used for different types of metal and the thickness is the main concern here according to thickness we perform the shielded metal arc welding it is mainly used for the heavy duty work and the material which we can join with the help of shielded metal arc welding is uh, carbon steel cast iron different types of alloy high alloy steel low alloy steel nickel alloy steel etc SMAW is mainly used in different types of industries like automotive industry construction purpose aerospace industry energy etc so there are various application of SMAW or shielded metal arc welding in india 75% welding work has been done with the help of shielded metal arc welding and 25% work or welding work has been done with the help of shielded shielded metal arc welding worldwide so this type of welding this is a versatile welding or mainly used by many manufacturer for their welding jobs and why most of the manufacturers are using shielded metal arc welding so there are various advantages of smaw first advantage is it has electrode or consumable electrode and the electrode is flux coated so there is no separate gas shielding is required in this welding the equipments are relatively simple and most portable type of welding equipments are the most portable type of welding process shielded metal arc welding is used for wide range of application or wide range of works like fabrication purpose in refineries pipelines bridges ships 
machineries or different types of industries etc so most of the work we can do or most of the joining work we can do with the help of shielded metal arc welding so this is the most important advantage it is the most versatile type of welding process and it is not sensitive to wind and draft so this is also one of the most important advantage of shielded metal arc welding so because of these types of advantages the shielded metal arc welding is the first choice of all the manufacturers so i hope you understood all the concepts which is related to shielded metal arc welding and hope you like the video thank you so much for watching this video if you like the video press the like button or if you have not subscribed the channel subscribe the channel immediately you can press the bell icon to get all the notification related to the activities of channel and you can share this video with your friends and your known people for their benefit so please like share and subscribe thank you so much see you in next video